For more than a decade, Adam Brazil has maintained his innocence in the murder of Malcolm Burroughs. He was convicted in 2006. I'm David Carroll. And I'm Michelle Heron, in for Cindy Sexton. Channel 3's Grace McKenna was at the courthouse today when Brazil petitioned for a new trial. She joins us now live with more on the new evidence presented today. Michelle, this is the second time that Brazil has pre has presented for a uh, a new trial. The first time it was granted, but the court over overturned that decision. Now Brazil's attorney is confident that they will get a retrial after presenting some key new evidence. Attorney Alex Little believes the evidence shows Adam Brazil is an innocent man. All along. Um, the evidence against Adam has been very, very weak. He's maintained his innocence. I believe him. I think if people look at this objectively, it's hard to believe that a man like that, for no reason at all, would have done these things. Little is centering Brazil's retrial petition on fingerprints from the scene that belonged to a man named Kermit Bryson, who has since died. This is very unusual to have a case where you don't have any forensic evidence linking your client to the crime, but there's somebody else who is, and that's what you know, started this whole piece of the case. The defense also called a witness who says shortly after the murder, Bryson admitted to her that he killed Burroughs. Brazil's sister says she's happy that witness came forward. I don't care who you are, you just don't come right out and say something like that, you know. So I really respect them for coming up and, and, and saying that, you know, for saying that Kermit Bryson actually told them he did it. The court also heard from former Sergeant Michael Brown, who responded to the scene of the crime in 2006. Brown has never testified in Brazil's case before. I'm Michael J. Brown, a retired sergeant in the Grundy County Sheriff's Department. Brazil's sister says he's disappointed the hearing didn't end today, but still. He's fine. He's not going to let them get the best of him. He's not going to let them break his spirit. He's holding out hope that he'll be free. That hearing is set to start again on July 31st. Little says he'll be bringing in a fingerprint expert and the state will also present their new witnesses. For now, live in Grundy County, Grace McKenna, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank